hi guys. So this is now a week later after using the grounding pad every single night in bed. So I have a, a the grounding full on pad. And so what I've been doing is sleeping with it um, every night. And I've noticed a few interesting things. Upon laying on it, I do notice that I get a little bit of interesting tingling down my legs. It kind of feels like things are being pulled a little bit. Um, like my, my the gravity is being pulled realistically. Whether that's in my head or not, I'm not sure. So after a week's worth of uh, being on the grounding mat, um, I'm going to look at my blood now. So here is my blood. I've just brought it up on screen um, and it is a little slower than I'd like it to see. Perhaps being the first time we did look at this, I went from the grounding mat directly to looking at blood. So this is really interesting because this I didn't do directly after. I kind of woke up, it's now about four hours later, um, and now we're seeing what this looks like. So it seems like the grounding is a little bit more of a uh, circumstance where it happens kind of immediately. It may not hold in the body for a long period of time um, until you re-engage with that. Now, some of the things we're seeing here is these are the actual red blood cells. And some of this linkage we're seeing here is acidity um, and it can be a little bit of inflammatory. And in a perfect world, I want this moving beautifully on screen, but unfortunately it's not like we saw the first time with Crystal and myself. So now I'm gonna move around. Okay, and again, we're seeing a little bit of linkage. The cells are looking pretty good. Let's keep looking here. This little circle you're seeing down there is one showing a slight B12 deficiency, um, which means it's missing a little bit of, of medical Bolton inside that cell. And this little white thing right here is something that didn't digest as well on the food front. Okay, beautiful here, looking really, really good. Same thing, whoopsies, we've got an immune cell down here. This is a specific type of immune cell uh, that does come out for inflammatory, does help come out to kind of clean things up. A little bit of toxins here in this picture that is slowing things down. But what's really good that we're not seeing is a major reduction of parasites, a major reduction of bacteria, um, and we're seeing the immune system could actually be a little bit more nourished and a little bit more stronger. Um, so that's something that's very interesting that I was hoping to see, that it would boost the immune a little bit more than it is. Now we are going to look at Crystal um, as she also has been sleeping on the mat for a week um, and been using it. So we're going to see what her blood looks like. But overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Um, you know, it, it is clean. The terrain is clean. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of pathogens that are inhabiting things. My immune system seems happy and working and doing what it needs to do. So let's see what Crystal's looks like yesterday tomorrow um, and we can kind of go from there. Hello everyone this is now kind of part three of our grounding video. Um, everybody's met Crystal right here and Crystal has most recently uh, slept on the mat for a few days. Um, we're also, while we are talking in this video, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull Crystal's blood up and have a look at what it looks like after a week of um, sleeping on the mat. And then what Crystal and I are gonna do is we're gonna put our feet on the mat in clinic here um, for about 10 minutes or so and then take a look at what both of our blood looks like. Uh, so let's start. So we are seeing a little bit of a different picture here. Let's tighten this up now. So with Crystal sleeping on it for a week, we had a baseline before this. And so we're seeing a few different things. Over here, we're seeing a little bit of movement. Well, I'd like to see a little bit more. And this is where I want to see if there's a difference um, with it exactly, you know, grounded and then right away and see what that looks like. 
Um, so let's move around. Now, some of these fuzzy cells that you're seeing here, these are ones that have parasites inside, okay? And these are very common. We get this from food, we get this from life. Crystal cells look pretty darn good. So I'm pretty happy with what that looks like. Now, as we move around, we are seeing a little bit of bacteria in there. Um, and we're also seeing a little lower immune system. So we'd like to be seeing a little bit more white blood cells throughout the sample. Uh, here's one right here, and this is what it should look like um, as a white blood cell. But in this image here, we're not seeing as many as we'd like to. Now, the first time Crystal and I put our feet on the mat uh, for a short amount of time, we had wonderful improvements. And it looks like from both Crystal and I actually testing this on a weekly sleeping on it standpoint, it is more of a immediate response, it does look like as we're seeing that the cells have kind of retreated that we're not seeing kind of that river flowing as best as it should. We are also seeing a little lower amount of immune cells throughout the sample. Um, I'd like to be seeing a little bit more immune cells uh, than what we are seeing. Um, over here, this is a specific kind of immune cell called a lymphocyte. But overall, the cells do look quite thick. They do look quite healthy. This is a little bit of uh, fats that haven't been digested properly. And the glowing you're seeing inside the cells is a little bit of B12. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at now both crystallized blood as we've had our feet on the mat for a little bit. And here we have Crystal now, 10 minutes on the mat. And let's see what she looks like. Okay, so this is really, really interesting, okay? Because we are seeing, we just looked at Crystal, not on the mat. Then we put Crystal on the mat, and now we're seeing this moving quite well. So this is showing that grounding is kind of a very current thing. It is showing that in this circumstance, we are seeing that the grounding uh, seems to happen right away and we need to have it physically kind of within the last 10 minutes or so to have uh, the actual grounding work on what's happening in the system, in the body, things like that. So now we're looking at me, everyone. So I have had my feet on this grounding mat now for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. We looked at ourselves last week after I slept on it and I wasn't like overly in love with the results, um, but I am kind of really finding that the science is showing that an immediate response seems to be what we're seeing. So here I am, I'm gonna prick my own finger. Obviously I don't need to wear gloves because it's me, but normally we always wear gloves. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna prick my finger. Doesn't hurt, bring up a little bit of blood the blood on there. These are cover slips that I put over top. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take two samples just in case I do want a second sample. Beautiful. Alrighty, so let's bring me up on screen. So I'm actually just going to wipe away the whoopsie daisy, the oil um, from my microscope. So I start very, very fresh. So here I go, I'm gonna put some oil on here. That enables me to zoom in. I'm gonna drop the blood on top and let's have a look at what the blood looks like. And again, we are seeing a spectacular change from just 15 minutes to 20 minutes on the grounding mat. Now let's move around because my cells look nice and thick, but I do have a high amount of um, red blood cells in this sample, which is fine. We are seeing a little bit of clumpiness, which can be due to a little bit of liver toxins um, that are making things a little bit more sticky. Cells look really great. And as I'm moving around, I'm looking for the immune system to see what it's doing. Okay, still not seeing an immune. Let's keep going. Okay, little bit of parasites inside some of these cells. Some of these chewed up cells are ones that have parasites in them, which again is extremely common to find. 
a little bit of food is that bright white thing there, which indicates a little bit of leaky gut here. Okay, so in this sample, not a huge amount of immune. Here's one right here and he's working, but I should be seeing a lot more activity from the immune, from the research that's been shown with grounding. So right now, I'm not really seeing that huge immune system impact. However, I am seeing a massive impact in supporting the organs, in supporting the circulatory, and helping with giving that energy component. So I hope this helps. Um, it always helps if you like this video. It also helps if you put, subscribe to my channel. Then I know that I'm doing the right kind of videos that you guys really like.